how to upload a video on YouTube faster is the topic of today's video. If you're new to the channel, welcome, I am Tutorial Tucker and I'll be showing you an easy way to basically decrease your video file size to upload it onto YouTube so much faster than before and it will use way less data. So yeah, this is a really awesome video. If you're new, please go and subscribe down below. Hit the like button right now. It supports the video so much and gets it to more people. And once you subscribe, please go and turn notifications on so you're notified every time I drop a brand new video. I'd appreciate it so much and go and leave a comment if you have a question or if you just have a general comment I do reply to all comments I'm kind of doing it at the minute but we'll see if I can keep up with that for so long I'm making so many awesome tutorials about YouTube so make sure you go and check them out on, on the channel because you know they're really useful and I think they can help grow your channel a lot more I put some awesome softwares to help grow your channel as well um, down below but yeah this software is really awesome I'm really happy with how the video came out make sure it's right to the end because I actually break down some important settings as well as reveal the software because obviously those people just want to see the software make sure you stick around and let's jump into this video now so this is the software we're going to be using it's called handbrake but before you jump off now you know the software make sure you continue to watch because i'm revealing all the best settings you're going to be using anyway but this will work on windows mac and linux is really really useful and before we go and show you this i want to quickly show you the current size of my video i'll open this up right click uh properties and as you can see, currently it's 822 megabytes. And we're going to be shrinking this drastically. So well, I don't know the exact size yet, but I'll be showing you. But it is going to make it a lot, lot smaller. So it will take a lot less uh, time to upload on YouTube. And obviously, the upload time does depend on how fast your internet is um, and a few other factors. But this will just shrink the file size to just a smaller megabyte. So yeah, first thing I'm going to do is click Download Handbrake. And it's going to go and put the download like it usually does um, automatically just down here. It's not very big, which is really useful. And we'll see Mac, it won't be .exe. It'll be a different file type and the same for Linux. So once you've downloaded it, all you want to do is run it by clicking on this. And it will take a minute to open. And you'll get a security pop-up, which um, Windows blocked me screen recording. Sorry about that. And here we go. Here we have the handbrake set up. Um, so as you can see, it goes you through the installation, just like a normal installation process. So make sure you understand all of this and click Next. And then choose where you want to install it. So yeah, I'm doing it in my um, in my C drive. Then click install, and it will install like a normal program. It doesn't take too long. It's not a very big software, and just like that, it's fully finished. You go and click finish. And now it's all done. And so next thing is going to be opening up Handbrake. So I'm just going to quickly search for it here, uh, Handbrake. And as you can see, there we go. There we go. We can go and click on it just like so. And now it's going to go and load it up for us. So there are a few key settings and it is quite confusing handbrake when you first get into it. So I want to go for it fully with you. So when you first open it, it'll be here and you've got to open up your source file. So click on open a single video file and find the file you want to go and shrink. So I've got this one here, like I show you do before. The current size is 822 megabytes and we're going to be shrinking this so much. It's going to be really, really useful. So click OK. And then all you want to do is double click on it just like so. And it's just scanning it. So that will take a bit depending on the size this is a 10 minute video so it does take quite a while and yeah here is the software and it's uh, pretty easy to do so this video is 14 minutes so that sort of explains the size but anyway there are a few settings i want to quickly run through with you so in dimensions this is this is going to be what it's shrinking it to so say if you actually want to go and shrink the file size you can really really easily do that by changing it here to say 1280 um, to 720. But quickly back to summary, here you've got the present, so you can choose like what you want to render it to. So you can do very fast 720p, you can do web. So personally, what I usually go and do is what it's currently set on. So fast 1080p, 30 is fine. You can crew reload it and you can change it. So you could go and test, but you've got production quality. So it all varies depending on what you do, but make sure it is 1080p, like never upload a video which is below 720p in my opinion. Try and do 1080, even though it does take a bit longer. The quality does always pay off and make sure you've got web optimized ticked because obviously we're uploading it onto youtube so that's really really important and let's continue so dimensions like i said before um keep these the same and you can change that to 1280 720 which is 720p um but other than that it's it's not necessary to go and change filters i personally keep all these off but obviously you can test yourself um sometimes people have specific filters and other effects they want to go into to add to their video um but that's all personal preference so Next up is video. Now here you can change the codec. Now I've always used um, um, H2, 
64 um, X264, but you can use the Nvidia one. It's just you kind of want to do some research into it if you really want to change it. But personally, it works really well for me. Now, I want this to be say if I wanted it to be in 60 FPS, you go and choose 60. Um, if you want it to be in 120, go and do that. Now, here, make sure I usually try and use constant frame rate just because it stops the frame rate dropping so much and causing more lag in the video. So, I recommend constant frame rate, um, and you can change that to 60 if you want to. And you can change the quality here, which is cool. So if you, it will take longer, the bigger it is, and um, it will use more computer power. But say, if you want it to be high, you can go and increase it. Um, but I'm gonna have it where it was, which is about 20, I think. Um, so it was, it was around here, so I'll keep it there. It doesn't really matter too much. Um, you can use the bit rate, but that isn't necessary. You can use this. You'd have to go and click there and go and enter a certain amount. But honestly, I'll just keep with constant quality at around 30. Um, Obviously, the more you increase it, the more the longer it will take, and the more power it needs. Like I kind of said, and then audio that is just sort of the audio file. So the you know the, the default one's absolutely fine. Make sure it's in stereo. If it's in mono, that means it only comes out of one like um speaker or one um earbud. So if it's on left only, it's only going to come out the left speaker or the left AirPod. Um, which is just really really annoying, and a lot of people find that annoying when watching YouTube videos. It really does put a viewer off if you've got like broken audio, I guess. So. Make sure it's on stereo subtitles. Um, I haven't actually tried these before, but I guess you can add subtitles. But I think that's where you actually merge them during the the editing. Um, but yeah, that's the main thing. But the, one of my favorite features about this software is there's a queue system. So if you've say bulk recorded loads of videos and your computer isn't very powerful and you have slow internet, you can have these all being shrunk overnight. So you could go to bed with like a with a queue of ten, and uh, then you can just go and let them go, which is often what I do sometimes. If I have loads of clips, I just put them to shrink before before putting in my editor um, sometimes large clips can actually um, affect the 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 editor because it's got to deal with more with more pixels but yeah these are the main settings now you want to go and save it so to click browse and choose where you want to save it so I'm gonna save mine where my other file was so let me quickly find that in here I made it about this I've got some client files um, but yeah I'm just gonna change that name to I'll have Vegas tutorial finished just to prove that it's uh finished <laughs> yeah and uh yeah to make sure it's on mp4 and then go and click save and then we can go and click start encode now this will take a minute or two to do so i'll probably come back after it's done but as you can see it's done one percent already which isn't too bad and um yeah you just gotta wait it out and i'll have the timer here which is useful um so you know how long it's going to be taking so this should take around five minutes which isn't too bad considering it's a 40 minute video so i guess it's doing like um every minute in around 30 seconds or so so yeah i'll catch you back once this has gone and finished and we can go and see if it actually has shrunk it well it will have um and i may even just prove it to upload to youtube to show you how fast it uploads um obviously that will be dependent on your own internet speed though so it's hard to keep that like fully realistic um but we'll see as you can see it's actually going pretty fast it's sped up a bit um only three minutes left so what i often find is the more yeah, it sort of finds your computer speed and sort of maxes speed out the faster this will go up um, and depending what type of the video it is like for this video it was mainly just a computer screen but if you've got like a moving clip so you're just filming outside that will take longer to render because there's more sort of I guess movement to it um, and it will need more um, power to complete but yeah we'll let this finish and I'll catch you then so the video is now finishing up it's literally just got a couple more percent and then we can go and show you how much it shrunk so it's actually not taking too long considering at first it was me five minutes it's only taking about three minutes and 40 seconds so as you can see queue finished and that would be also what would happen if you'd created a whole queue for that video so let's go back here and this is the new video the dot mv4 do not worry it still opens just like a normal video file if we open it up um, it runs it just fine just click ok and uh, it should run it just like normal as you can see it's going fine so then we can go and prove to so the original one is 200 no 822 and we can open up this new one and see what how big it is so if we open it up i can actually open it up there we go so as you can see it is only 30 it's 39 megabytes that is so much smaller i'll drag up the other one quickly um, there we go so much smaller that's really impressive one from 800 megabytes to 39 that's the exact same file so here we go I've got them all lined up now so it was originally 822 megabytes and now it's gone to 40 and as you can see they're the exact same uh, I should be able to find the length somewhere 
Um, so 14 minutes there and then 40 minutes there. The exact same clip is absolutely insane. I hope you have found this useful. It's really, really good and completely insane to be able to shrink a file that much because obviously uploading 800 megabytes down to 40 is so much easier. And also is so if you have like certain bandwidth restrictions, you can upload it more videos for the same amount. So yeah, hope you found this video useful. If you have, go subscribe down below to the channel. I appreciate it so much. I'm making more awesome content just like this every single day at the minute. And go and leave a comment down below. And with you subscribe, turn the notification on to be notified when more awesome content is uploaded and look forward to catch you in the next one if you have any questions drop a comment below peace out